I don't want to live in a bubble and I don't want to be put on a pedestal because, I mean, I don't think actors are any more special than, you know, guys that make shoes. At one time, Mickey Rourke was the toast of Hollywood. Producers threw scripts at him, then they stopped, and he knows why. I've never been able to kiss anybody's ass, and that hasn't helped me. So these days, it's more likely that you'll find Mickey Rourke on a Miami handball court than a movie set, passing time with old friends from the neighborhood where he grew up. And according to a British tabloid, you might also have recently found him making a one-day stay in a Los Angeles mental hospital. I was in the hospital. It's, you know, the, I mean, the English blew a lot of stuff out of proportion, but, they, you know, they got it right. I was in there. Don't do it for anybody else. They do it for me because it's a time where I could feel like a man. And lots of times in the movie business, you know, you, you, you know you're treated like such a, like something else. You know? Rourke, who took on a lackluster boxing career, blamed it on heavy workouts for a fight and a liquid protein diet. When I was starting to drive, I started hyperventilating and I couldn't like talk, I couldn't talk. I just got real weak, I went to the hospital. And doctor came in, he says, how do you feel? And I said, I feel like blowing my brains out. And I didn't have anything medically wrong with me, so they put me in the psychiatric ward across the way. Those same tabloid reports also claimed Rourke was broke and had his home repossessed. He admits he lost his home and says he's now only as rich as his next movie. And he sees something positive in that. It made me understand what I do and how important it is to take responsibility for... Um, what I have because I couldn't take responsibility for what I've thrown away and lost and action he said he hated being an actor that he worked less than he should that he often picked the wrong parts now he what? wants to work again it's stardom that can wait I want to be honest and have peace of mind that's that's all well, if I can have that then I don't want anything else Get time. Nine fifteen. my horse pulling the trailer for this old age. Do you know what? You could fix her up. I mean, like, I'd put in a high lift cam, and I'd balance the rods and crankshaft. That, that's a must. And if you blow out the cylinders to 60,000, 
And you might have a chance. You said a faulty ignition wire's off. FTW. Yeah. That's my initials. Frank T. Wells. Who would have thought fuck the world would equal Frank T. Wells? Nice to meet you. How about you? You two look good together. Well, I think it's in the eyes. Listen, you need a place to go I can help you out. No strings attached. You ain't dangerous or nothing, are you? Well, you're the one with the gun. Folks, these cowboys must ride the animal. A total of eight seconds to qualify. Our next cowboy is Frank T. Wells from Flathead, Montana. An angry rodeo renegade looking for glory. The highest horse ride in the day, Papa! A wild, beautiful girl looking for trouble. Stand up! Come on out of here! The last thing they expected to find was each other. You can trust me if you want to. You didn't do nothing stupid. Police are already looking for you. Seems though that she's snitched up with some fella traveling on a rodeo circuit. Frank T. Wales. Let's just go our separate ways right here, right now. Yes. Thank you, tough. You just crazy. Oh. I ain't afraid of dying, Frank. I don't want to never do nothing that's gonna take you down with me. We're sticking together. Mickey Rourke, Lori Singer, The Last Ride. Would you kill for me, kill for me, kill for me, kill for me?